This is Project Neuroscience. Today we are talking about resting and action potentials. Information is sent throughout the nervous system as a series of electrochemical impulses, or action potentials. The ability for a neuron to fire, or depolarize, is through carefully maintained intracellular and extracellular ion concentrations. The rules of simple diffusion tell us that ions in high concentration will move down their concentration gradient to an area of low concentration until such a point as both areas are equal in concentration. It is important to note that ions will continuously move, but the overall net movement will cease. The same rules apply across the membrane of a neuron, in which ions will flow into or out of the neuron until equilibrium is achieved. However, unlike simple diffusion, there is an element of charge involved, and as ions move down their concentration gradient, the overall charge will begin to repel other like charges until we reach electrochemical equilibrium. Because ions are charged, they cannot readily diffuse through the membrane. Therefore, they need a little help. Ions can diffuse into the cell through either voltage-gated or ligand-gated ion channels. Voltage-gated ion channels snap open in response to a certain membrane voltage and subsequent changes in the surrounding electromagnetic field. Ligand-gated ion channels open in response to a specific ligand, typically a neurotransmitter that binds to the channel and induces a conformational change. Leak channels are ion channels that remain open. One such channel, the potassium leak channel, continuously releases potassium ions from the neuron, maintaining the negative membrane potential of the neuron, approximately minus 62 millivolts with respect to the outside. Here's a table of the four key ions involved in regulating resting equilibrium potential. You will notice that the concentration of potassium is higher intracellularly and sodium, calcium, and chloride are higher extracellularly. Knowing the direction of the concentration gradients is essential, so it is recommended that you commit them to memory. Additionally, you will notice the equilibrium potentials of various ions. This is calculated by the Nernst equation, which examines each ion independently and determines its electrochemical equilibrium voltage. These voltages should also be committed to memory. The Goldman equation is an additional mathematical model that calculates the equilibrium potential in a system of multiple ions. More information about these equations can be found in the About section below. Maintaining ionic concentration gradients is achieved through ion pumps. One such pump, the sodium-potassium pump, converts adenosine triphosphate to adenosine diphosphate and exports three sodium ions per two potassium ions imported. If these pumps were to stop functioning, we would expect to see ionic concentration gradient collapse. However, while this is inherently true, the collapse of these gradients would occur over a considerable amount of time. It is important to note that very few ions are exchanged in the event of an action potential. An action potential is an all or none event. Typically, the axon hillock, the part of the neuron where the axon originates from the soma, is often called the spike initiation zone. If this area is depolarized beyond threshold, between minus 40 and minus 55 millivolts, this will trigger an action potential, which will propagate down the length of the axon to the axon terminals. However, if threshold is not met, an action potential will not occur. This is the all or none nature of the action potential. Once threshold is met, the action potential begins with a rising phase. During this phase, voltage-gated sodium channels snap open, allowing the rapid influx of sodium ions. This influx increases the membrane potential to upward of 40 millivolts. Any point where the inside of the neuron is positively charged with respect to the outside is known as the overshoot. At the peak of the action potential, sodium channels close and potassium channels open. We can recall that potassium concentration is higher intracellularly, meaning the opening of potassium channels will cause a rush of positive charge to leave the neuron, the falling phase, repolarizing the neuron. However, because there is a delay in closing voltage-gated potassium channels, the overall voltage of the neuron dips below resting potential. This dip is called the undershoot, and is a period of hyperpolarization. Following an action potential, there is an absolute refractory period, in which no amount of stimulation will initiate an action potential. After the end of the absolute refractory period, a relative refractory period occurs, However, during this period, an elevated above normal amount of stimulation can trigger an action potential. So how does the neuron ensure that the action potential is propagated in one direction, the absolute refractory period? By inactivating sodium channels, 
the depolarization wave only propagates in a forward direction. By insulating the axon, myelin increases the conduction of action potentials. The nodes of Ranvier are breaks in the myelin sheath that allow for ion exchange and the generation of new action potentials. Action potential propagation via myelin and the nodes of Ranvier is observed to hop from node to node, similar to skipping down a sidewalk. This skipping is known as saltatory conduction. Researchers have developed methods to inject current into the neuron and induce action potentials. One such method, the patch clamp, involves sealing the tip of an electrode to a very small patch of membrane. Current can then be passed through the electrode to induce membrane depolarization. The frequency of an action potential is directly dependent on the amount of current injected. As you can see, each time the current is stepped up, the frequency of the action potential increases. You can now pause the video here and review the terms. Next time we're talking about synaptic transmission. If you like what you saw and want to learn more about neuroscience, then hit subscribe for new videos every week.